Dearest pen pals, in celebration of National Notebook Day on May 18th, we pit three of our best bullet journal options against each other in a no holds barred battle of bullet journals. Which journal shall reign supreme? Let's find out. Hey folks, my name is Tom Otto and I've kept a bullet journal since 2016. Each year I usually switch from one journal to another to find the perfect match for my journaling habits. I started with the first edition of the Leuchtturm 1917 bullet journal notebook. Then I moved to a Rhodia goal book and then ended up with the Endless Recorder. So as you can see from these thoroughly used journals, I have experience with each of these books to give you a well-informed review. I also have something else to give. We'll be giving away one Leuchtturm bullet journal and one Rhodia Gold book that I test in this video. Stay tuned to the end to see how you can enter. Before we dive into the differences, let's check out what all these journals have in common. They are all A5 size. They all have a five millimeter dot grid. They all have an elastic band closure. And they all have an inner back pocket to store paper, scraps, and other goodies. Now from there, we start to compare. We have the cover. The cover to the Endless Recorder is a harder synthetic type of cover. It's not made out of leather. It's uh, some sort of composite material, uh, but it does have a fine grain on it and it is fairly hard. The Leuchtturm bullet journal, however, is even sturdier. This has a very, very sturdy hard cover that has quite a bit of heft to it. Then you have the Rhodia, which has a soft, flexible cover and is not made out of leather, but kind of has a very soft leather-like sort of look. Now, although all of these notebooks come with dotted pages, each one of them has a different page count. The Endless has 187 dot grid pages. The Leuchtturm comes in at 206 dot grid pages. And they're all numbered. And the Rhodia has 224 dot grid pages. Now, bookmarks are kind of essential in a bullet journal because you are kind of flipping back and forth and you're indexing things and you're referring to different parts of the notebook as you go along and you start recording. So each one of these comes with multiple bookmarks. And in the Endless, you have two bookmarks of which you see here, well, two little bookmarks, one's white and one's blue. The Leuchtturm bullet journal edition comes with three bookmarks. You have white, black, and a gray in this version. And the Rhodia includes two bookmarks. So just a note on durability of the bookmarks, which might be a concern. I just know that any part of this, you just wanna be sure that the quality of product's going to be able to last the whole entire year. And this is where the experience of using them beforehand comes in handy. So the Rhodia, Gold book here, you could see that the bookmarks have taken a little bit of a beating and started to kind of fray a little bit at the end here. The Endless has the same thing because you have braided uh, bookmarks here that have started to fray at the end. But the Leuchtturm, these ribbon bookmarks still look as brand new as the day I first started using them. So uh, kudos to Leuchtturm for making a solid bookmark. Now, space in your bag is concerned, you'll want to take a look at the spine thickness of each of these notebooks. You have the Endless Recorder. It comes in at 18 millimeters thickness, which is 0.7 inches. The Leuchtturm is the big chonker of this group at 23 millimeters, the spine thickness, which is 0.9 inches. And the Rhodia is slightly under the Endless in terms of its spine thickness at 17.5 millimeters or 0.69 inches. Now, because you're going to be carrying these notebooks around a lot, if you travel to work and you want to take your bullet journaling system with you wherever you may go, weight could be a concern. So the Endless comes in at 12 ounces. Leuchtturm, of course, with its thicker style and its harder cover, is going to be the 
biggest and heaviest one at 16 ounces, so a full pound. And then the Rhodia is 14 ounces. Now getting to the nitty gritty in terms of paper, because of course paper is at the heart of this notebook and it's the reason why you pay for a premium product like one of these three brands. So you have Endless with the 90 GSM Regalia paper. Leuchtturm, this one actually has upgraded paper from the first edition because the first edition was, I believe, 90 GSM, but the new second edition has 120 GSM. However, slight little note is that even though it is 120 GSM, it still might not perform as well as the 90 GSM counterpart. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. Then you have Rhodia has 90 GSM paper of which is made by Claire Fontaine in France. Now, not only does the paper density differ, but also the paper color as well. So the Endless has a bright white type paper, Leuchtturm, a little bit more of an off-white, and then you have your Rhodia Gold Book, which has ivory. So it's kind of varying shades, which of course will change the way that the complexion of your ink will look on the page which we'll show you in just a second. So how does each notebook handle fountain pen ink? That is the major question that many pen enthusiasts like myself would ask and would want to make sure that you're getting a great quality notebook that will be able to handle various types of nib sizes and various types of ink, shimmer, shading, sheening ink, and whatnot. So I tested each one of these notebooks using just pens that I had on me at the moment today, which I have a Novel or Nautilus, Leonardo Officina Italiana Momento Zero, uh, Mont Blanc 146, a 149, and also a Gravitas pen that has a flexible steel nib on it. So good variety that will put ample amounts of ink on the page. So as you can see here, the Endless Recorder, since it has bright white paper, I feel you get a true tone of what the ink color looks like so that you could clearly see the brightness and the hue intensity of each ink color. Also, since this is made for fountain pens, this notebook is made for fountain pens, you won't experience any sort of feathering or bleed through with most nib types, including something that's as aggressive as the flex nib that's on here or a broader uh, stub type nib. Each of these lines is very crisp and also the show through is very minimal. There's no bleed through. Uh, and remember this is 90 GSM, uh, regalia paper that's on this notebook. So it has a very rather ple pleasant tactile sense. It kind of feels more uh, drier in terms of uh, a writing experience. It's not as smooth as uh, Tomoe River paper, but uh, still very pleasurable, especially when it comes to seeing uh, multi-chromatic shaders like this Vinta ink that's here or something that's got a very uh, pronounced type of shading uh, quality like these uh, three inks that are here. And also two sheening inks look outrageously awesome on this paper as well, although I don't have any uh, sheeners on here per se. Now looking at the Leuchtturm, I did mention before that this has 120 GSM paper, which you would think because of the higher number that this would perform better than either of these two. Um, and as you can see, it does have pretty nice coloring, but when you start to really look close, uh, you could see a little bit of some, a little bit of some feathering around the edges of the lines, especially with the higher flow ink, like on the flex nib or on the stub here. It starts to kind of just feather out just a very, very little bit uh, if you take a closer look at it. And also, what it is pretty noticeable as well is when you turn it on the opposite side of the page, you could see some little bit of some show through here with the flex nib. So it's not going to be as friendly as the Endless, but it still will handle fountain penning pretty well, especially if you stay to uh, fine medium type of nibs or extra fines, I think you'll be okay with that. The paper quality is a very smooth and it is pretty dense too. So it, it, it does have a nice feel um, in terms of the tactile ability of the nib on paper, but it doesn't quite perform as well as the Regalia paper. And last we have the Rhodia Gold Book. As you can see with the Rhodia Gold Book, you have pretty good shading, good coverage with the ink, and also it does not have that same little bit of feathering. It doesn't have the feathering on the Leuchtturm. And if you look 
at the opposite side of the page here, there's no show through or bleed through. So, um, but one thing to note is that, of course, when you look at the ivory color paper versus something that's bright white, when you compare both the Endless and the Rhodia Gold Book together, you can see that the inks look slightly different. They have a slightly different complexion when you see them against the bright white versus the Rhodia Gold Book here, the ivory paper. And um, you know, it's, it may not be for everybody, whichever way that you prefer to go to, but this is something to note, especially if you are a fountain pen ink enthusiast. Each of these notebooks come with a little extra some things that differentiate themselves from the other two competitors, and I'll show you what this is. Endless Recorder includes a little thank you, as well as a sticker and a recorder ID to let you know this is your rec particular recorder that you own. And it also has a table of contents. So important in a bullet journal is to be able to index and list all of the various pages to then find where you wrote something particularly, whether it's the particular month that you're using or a list like a, uh, like a, like a rapid log of, let's say, my best, uh, my favorite movies that I watched this year or books that I'd like to read. So you would then list the page number and then what the topic is in the table of contents. Now, the Leutsch term, since it is a bullet journal product, it is officially licensed by Bullet Journal by writer Carol, who developed the bullet journal method and has a book out as well as a companion app. So there's a lot of support around this particular product, uh, which was actually, Leutsch term was the kind of the initial brand that everybody would use uh, because it had numbered pages and it had a dot grid. And then once people figured out that that was what the bullet journaling method kind of relied on, and a whole bunch of different other options came about. So Leuchtturm was kind of like the first into the bullet journal game, and they partnered up with Bullet Journal and bulletjournal.com to produce something that is comprehensive, especially great for beginners, because you have such awesome perks as this grid guide here, which is built to show you exactly how to divide up your page so that if you needed to make like thirds or quarters or uh, you needed to do half of a page, you know how many dots on the way down to go and how many dots on the other side here on the x-axis uh, to split up your page. And if that wasn't enough, they actually put little helpful dots on the edge of each page. So you'd be able to see right in the middle here underneath where it says 12, that's where you could draw the line to split your page in half. And then over here where there's three dots, that's to split it in thirds on both sides here. And the same thing up over here by the spine, you'd see the three dots for thirds, two dots for half, three dots for thirds. So quite helpful, especially if you do like laying out your bullet journal in different formats or you're trying different formats and you're trying to get something that will work for your weekly log page or uh, maybe making a calendar uh, or a various other projects that would require you to divide up the page in separate sections. Um, these dots certainly help because it you know, I do count a lot when I'm doing my bullet journal uh, layouts and you would have to then count all the dots to make sure that everything is even. You'd have to figure that out on your own. But with this system, it makes it a lot easier to do that sort of division. Also in the bullet journal edition here is a key. So you'd be able to see what each symbol stands for when you do your daily rapid logging and uh, being able to take tasks and divide them up into different categories and then migrate them back and forth. You have several pages here, which are just basic dot grid type pages. You'd have intentions, an index. So this index is a little bit different where it's more free form. The other notebooks have dedicated indexes where it will give you an option for page number and the topic, but this one's just blank, so you could just do whatever you'd like with it. And then you have the future log, which you would then divide into the various months and then schedule out what you have going on in your future. And what's also very helpful about this edition is that it comes with a guide. So you don't have to go logging on to a separate app you don't have to go searching videos on YouTube for how to do this particular journaling method. It's got everything here to start. So you could go completely from being 100% noob, not knowing what a bullet journal is, 
to proficient enough to start it yourself all in one package. What's also included here too, stickers, whole bunch of stickers. So what's also popular in bullet journaling is habit tracking. So when you want to do a habit tracker, usually you have to fill out if you want to uh, list out every day of the month, or you have to list out what it is, the, the days of the week and what it is that you're doing every day to keep track of throughout the entire month. But uh, these stickers make it easy because then you could just peel off the sticker, put it into the bullet journal, and then you've already numbered your month out so that then you could just go across and say, well, what did I do? I read today, I drank 80 ounces of water, worked out, whatever you wanna keep track of, you could keep track of it pretty easily by using these stickers. And then you have the week, uh, the, the week stickers that are on here too. And then you have month, which are done in a nice like metallic sort of print on here too. So this is very, very fancy. It kind of keeps up with the whole theme of the book, which is, it has a kind of a little bit of a luxury feel to it, which I think is pretty nice. So a lot of extras with the Leutsch term. With the Rhodia, we have a table of contents, like we saw with the Endless Recorder. And then the Rhodia also comes with a perpetual calendar. So this is an un, yeared calendar. It's not stuck in a particular year. You could start this any year you'd like to, but it does have each month with the requisite number of days on here. And then you have what most bullet journalers would call a future log, which would, this would be your per month, and then you have three months on a page, and then it would start with the regular dot grid pages. What also separates this journal from other journals is that it has an included pen loop that's attached as well, which is pretty convenient, especially when you need to carry this around with you. You want to take your bullet journal around with you. You want to throw your pen in there. So you slide a pen into the elastic band. You can take it around with you. Last point of comparison is price. The Endless Recorder is priced at $23.50. The Leutsch Term Bullet Journal Edition 2 is $27.95, and the Rhodia Gold Book is $29.95. So, which journal gets your vote as the winner of this battle? Let us know in the comments below. In one week from this video's post, we will randomly pick two comments. One will receive the Leutsch Term, and then the other will receive the Rhodia both of them of which you've seen on this video and I've tested. You do need to make sure that you are subscribed to the Goldspot Pens channel to be considered for the giveaway. If you'd like to see more fountain pen friendly notebooks, check out this video where we show you our top five best picks. If you need some help figuring out what to write in your journal, check out our video on how to journal for mental health here. Subscribe to the Goldspot Pens channel to keep in touch about all the latest and greatest in fine writing. Thank you for watching and stay inky my friends. Take care.